So you trying to say that black people are idiots? Shoot for the stars. Don't look at me, I'm a star. I'm a take over the world. Scarface the world is out. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, B. Octavia, and I am back with another video. If you miss me, thank you. If you are new, my name is B. Octavia. I'm 22 years old and I'm from Washington, D.C. And today's video will be my weekly recap which is called Word on the Street. Word on the Street, the street is me, okay? I wanna shout out my sister. She just started her YouTube channel. Her name is Amber. Her YouTube is Amber Alert. I'll put it up on the screen right now, and I'll also link it in the description. Make sure that you go subscribe to her channel. She will have amazing content coming soon. She uploaded her first video, so go over there, show her some love. If you want a shout out on my next video, make sure that you go over to my Instagram. That will be in the description. You follow me and then you send me a screenshot that you have subscribed, that you rocking with me. And I will definitely give you a shout out in my next video. The first thing that I want to talk about is Stevie J and Jocelyn. So word on the street is that Stevie J has gotten custody of their daughter together bonnie bella word on the street is that they had a custody agreement in place that said that stevie j was supposed to have have bonnie bella from july 28th to august 11th jocelyn did not uphold her end of the bargain stevie j traveled to miami while jocelyn was shooting for marriage boot camp which I guess is coming out. He went out there to pick Bonnie Bella up and he was unable to do so. So, so then his lawyer filed a request that Jocelyn would have to hand over the child for the agreed amount of time or face jail time. The judge granted the request and now she has violated the agreement. He is left with sole custody and she has only visitation. Now, what I seen on Instagram was Bonnie Bella and Mimi and Stevie J's daughter, um, what's her name? I seen both of them on Instagram and they were, you know, around each other and, you know, so I was like, I mean, maybe things have changed, but I really didn't think that they changed in this way. I don't know how I feel about it just because he wasn't really around her when she was pregnant and that's like a big thing for me that's um but that doesn't mean that he shouldn't have the right to see her and i just don't really believe in a man taking rights from the mother i i don't know how i feel about you know the role switching like that he should be able to get visitation um, at the same time she did violate what was put in place so I don't know. I mean, it's all in how they go about it moving forward because she's going to have to, if he does, in fact, have sole custody now, she's going to have to be nice to him, you know, and keep in communication with him. And I mean, the, the roles are going to switch a lot. And I don't really think that's just for a man to be able to do if the mother isn't unstable whether that be like drug abuse or, you know, I just, I don't really know how I feel about that. But moving on, I wanted to talk about YNW Melly. I previously put out a video about this double murder that he's accused of doing and masterminding and setting up. And the two victims happen to be his best friends. Now, I said my point of view on that and um, I also stated that he is facing the death penalty in Florida. So he was recently in court in July. Pictures came out of him smiling in court. That was kind of like, for me, it was like, uh, when I see people do that, it's like, no, you can't let them see you completely like broken down and you know whatever but at the same time i feel like smiling in court is a no-go the jury or the judge or whoever is judging everything that you do and i believe it was xxx who was in court and he was smiling and he got in trouble for that so 
So the thing that his lawyer said in court, which was a huge break on Melly's defense, is that the police made a huge mistake. They initially were looking for Fredo Bang. They subpoenaed Fredo Bang and told him that he knew something about the case and that he had to come in and talk to them. Fredo Bang lawyered up. He fought it because he couldn't even come to Florida at the time. So the whole big thing is they really don't even know. Just like I said, I really don't think they have the police have as much evidence as they they think that they do or that they're putting out that they do. I really don't think they have it all together. The circumstances around this case and how they say it happened. So you're trying to say that black people are idiots because never have I ever heard nobody trying to stage something and it not look right in this way there's no way that a person will logically think and i mean i could be wrong but in my eyes there's no way a person can logically think that you can shoot bullets from inside the car out and make it look like it shot outside the car in to me that makes no sense and they keep denying his bail which is terrible why have to wait till trial if it could be supervised, you could be on house arrest or whatever the case is. I understand the severity of the case. Two people lost their lives and they're accusing Brian W. Melly of that, but it really doesn't make any sense to me. So, um, that is their newest lead that the police has a mix up just like they mixed up Fredo Bang in it. If Fredo Bang has to, in fact, testify on this case, it might end up helping YNW Melly because it shows that they made an error with him and he was nowhere inside of this. They're really trying to close the case. And sometimes when detectives try to close cases really fast, they get the wrong person. So a date for his bail hearing has yet to be set, which is very unfortunate. I'm still praying for him. I hope that this evidence with um, Fredo Bang and the subpoena and everything shows how gung-ho they are to just close it and move on to the next one. Yeah, that's the update on YNW Melly. Well, another thing that I want to talk about is the cucumber challenge. So trouble he in a video with young miami he recently had a party over the weekend with yf and lucci and alexis guy so apparently trouble and alexis guy is dating the whole tea about it is he was recently dating jada chavez he was recently dating little baby's baby mother's sister if y'all don't know who that is, this is her right here. Her name is Jazz. He was recently dating her. Now, I come across her page sometimes. She's a businesswoman, but moreover, just be drama sometimes and shit. So, she was posting that she had a bae and all this and all that, right? Then, after a little while of, I guess, her and Trouble messing with each other and shit, she went public with it. And put up a video of her and him chilling, whatever the case is. That wasn't too long ago, mind you. These niggas is real life dogs, for real. Like, to play with a person and, you know, move on for the cloud of it all. Because I feel like that's what he doing with Alexis Guy. Alexis Guy pretty, whatever, but it's, it's the cloud of it all, you feel me? And what looks better on Instagram and shit like that. She seems to be fine, and she still got her money and her coin, so it ain't really no, you can forget about him real fast with the money, in my opinion. They had this party, this cucumber party, and evidently the trouble rapper dude invented it, I guess, got some <laughs> stick of cucumber in their mouth and down their throat. And it went viral. My thing is this. First of all, the cucumber challenge is very perverted. A lot of dudes can't even match up to what, you know, the size of a cucumber. Let's just be honest. I'm just going to call it for a call. 
So that's the number one reason why I feel like it's very perverted. And that's something that people eat. Like, don't do that. And I don't know how many bitches probably literally got in front of the store and didn't rinse it off and stuck it down their throat. Like, you got to think about stuff like that. You can get, I don't know, something. You can get some type of disease from doing that. It was a couple girls there doing the cucumber challenge. It had hit the shade room that Alexis Scott was one of them. And she came out and said that she wasn't. That the person that was doing it was a porn star. And it also came out that she was in a fight. She also said that that wasn't her. But I seen this video on Instagram. Now that you got your ass beat at the end of the day, period. And Trouble tried to elbow me with your weak ass. The fuck? Y'all had niggas trying to fall in. Like, come on, pussy hoe. You thought you couldn't be touched? A bitch yeah, ain't untouchable? Like a pussy hoe could never think they gonna sneak my sister. Never! <laughs> and for all y'all weak ass, broke ass hoes that's talking about my sister doing for some clout, bitch, my sister don't need no motherfucking Instagram clout. Weak ass bitches. It was what it was. She tried it. She got her ass beat. Period. Period. Oh. Oh, they just Somebody could have put a battery in their back and persuaded them to come out with this, you know, angry video saying that it did happen. Or it really did happen. I mean, the girls look like hood rats. So, you know, it, it goes down like that. I mean, that cucumber stuff, I mean, that's a nasty way to use sexualizing a vegetable. And if you value yourself, don't do that. If you are looking for a man don't do that if you are in a good cushy business and you got people from your job following you don't do that if you respect yourself number one don't do that on instagram it's all about what you show and that's how people judge you you feel me so with that being said if you put up a cucumber video of you down in a cucumber it's it's going to show you as a hoe it's going to show you as like niggas boys whoever they gonna say oh i'm trying to you <laughs> she ready now another thing that i peeped was speaking of jada's sister jazz jada jada waiter little baby's baby mama she deleted her instagram so i mean it gotta be something either about to come out or you know a cheating scandal or something that's about to you know because, I mean, to get plastic surgery, you want to be seen. You know what I'm saying? To show off your body a lot and, you know, be vain in that way. You you want to be seen. It got to be something that's about to hit the internet. Whether it be a cheating scandal or a, she done done something foul, like steal somebody's designs for her own or lie about skin care or call little baby's oldest son ugly or... It could be anything like that. So I say that to say this. That is the word on the street. You feel me? If you rock with this segment, make sure that you like this video. Make sure that you subscribe. Make sure you support. I'm almost at 700. We finna hit that. We finna smash it. We finna um, hit. What is it? Smash and pass that. You feel me? We finna be on to greater, bigger heights. You feel me? We... We finna really do something good. So, share this video. You know what I'm saying? I will see y'all in my next one, which will be Real Talk Tuesday. It's gonna be a banger. So, make sure that you, you there. You gotta turn on your post notifications and stuff, though. You gotta make sure that you do it right. All right?